Code Wars has an example called Calculate Pyramid Height, where we are asked to um, calculate the height of a perfectly square pyramid built using the number of cubes as n here as the argument. So we are given the number of cubes and by using that number, we will be building a perfect square, py square pyramid and we are asked to report back the maximum height the pyramid will take. Uh, some of the rules are listed here. So the top layer is always one cube and the cubes will cover 25% of the inner area. So basically what I understand here is that let's say this is our top cube with magenta color. So I will take this and I will move over here. And as the second layer, I will construct cubes in this formation. So I use yellow color and put the boundary. And again, yellow color boundary. And the way, the reason I do that is it occupies 25% of the inner area. I made a mistake here and fixed, okay. And that will be in magenta color. Okay, so now I have a two layers system, uh, two layers pyramid. And if I will continue constructing the pyramid in that fashion, I can copy it here and paste it here. Copy and paste here. I now have a three layers uh, pyramid. So this is how it should, it should look like. That's how I should be looking at for the construction process. Right? Now, uh, this problem is explained as square pyramidal number problem in Wikipedia, where you have this illustration for the first layer, top layer with only one cube, and the second layer with four cubes, third layer with nine cubes, fourth layer with 16 cubes, and, four, go for, and so forth. And this is the uh, uh, overall um, illustration of the pyramid. Here, we, it's use, uh, it doesn't use square, but that's the image here. Now, if you look at the functional form or the calculations behind that, it is a very straightforward process. So basically, in this uh, calculation, n represents the number of layers. And we are adding up the squares required to build the nth layer. So for the first layer, we need one square. For the second layer, we need, the, we need four squares. And for the third layer, we need nine squares. And if you, we, if you would integrate it over the number of layers, we would know how many tiles we need overall. In other words, if you would like to build a pyramid with three layers, you need to add up one and four and nine, which is 15. So you need 15 cubes to build a three layer pyramid. Right? So let's try to look at how we can address the problem. There are multiple ways and I'm just, uh, I just worked on one case. And in my opinion, we need to count two things or we need to keep records of two things. One is the square count. And the square count here is will be the running total or the total number of cubes we need to build this pyramid, right? And it will start from zero and we will be using a while loop where we will have a, towards the end of the while, we will have a comment which will, have an, which will, have, which will increase the I value and go back and continue the while until we uh, don't meet the true condition here. So the square count is the total number of counts needed. And I is the number of layers. So we'll start with the, with, with the first layer as layer number one, I is one. So while here, while through is how I, how I will put it together first. What I will do first is I will, ca I will uh, calculate the square counts and I will be, adding them up, appending, and the, the, the uh, 
additional number of uh, cubes are related to the number of layers in i to the power two uh, trend. So square count is a function of the number of layer spacing. And it, that, therefore it is inside the loop because when I change the I value, the square count will also change accordingly. All right. Now I, I may have, I can have a very simple if statement here. And you say, if the number of cubes given to us, if it is less than the square count, we finish, we stop the construction process. We cannot move forward. Then we stop and look at the number of layers that we were able to construct. And the number of layers was equal to number of heights. Right? So if that is the case where we have less number of uh, cubes than the required number of cubes, we will return a value of i minus one. Here is critical. The reason we put i minus one here is that we work on, we, we completed i minus one number of layers and we are working on the i layer. Unfortunately, we don't have enough squares, so we stop the process and we don't count the layer which is not complete. And it's mentioned over here a couple of times or here. If you are given 14 cubes and if you can, so uh, in this explanation here, you are missing one cube. And if you are missing one cube, that layer is not complete. So you cannot count it as a complete layer. So you will have one less number of layers here as your final, right? And if after that, uh, we will just, sorry, we will just um, break the, while loop because we don't need to go forward. This is really what we need to achieve. And as start, we will have I as one. And if the first, if this condition is not met, we need to go to the back or the beginning of the while loop and change the I value, increase it by one and go through the same routine. So then I will have an else condition where the number of layers that I'm looking at should be increased, how was that, increased by one, right? Okay, I think that's correct. So if that, if, if I put it together in this format, it should work out well, in my opinion, because it will just look at the, uh, look at it first, calculate the square count and look at this condition, if it is math, it will break the while loop. If not, if it, it will increase I value by one and go back and continue. And let's do the check here. I think I, I tried early, so it worked. So it's, it's again, let me write answer. Good. So that is really how you can put this problem together. But there are multiple ways, and I'm just looking at these other ways to learn to improve my Python skills.